All right, BeFit Nation, looks like we are good to go. Welcome back to another Motivational Monday, another BeFit Live program workout. I'm your host, BeFit Ambassador Roy Montes, joining you with my very special guest today, Senior Mass Sergeant, I'm sorry, Captain, <laughs> Captain Bush. Yes, How are you doing today, sir? Ain't I doing well. <laughs> we're, we're starting off on a strong note already. Uh, speaking of strong, uh, let's talk about resistance training today. That, that's what we got going on today. Uh, we're thinking about focusing on form, focusing on control, right. focusing on dialing in our weight because we have four really good movements, oh, yeah. full body movements that uh, we have going on for today. <laughs> so it. as we work through, uh, as we work through this workout, let's think about our form, let's think about our control, let's think about dialing in our weight and really progressing through our four different rounds that we're going to tackle for today. But before we get started. Thank you for joining us today. If you're new to the program, this is our chance to really focus on ourself, focus on our body, and really focus on some of our uh, movements uh, that we tackle throughout our everyday lifestyle. But uh, today we're just honing it in with some added resistance with some dumbbells. So if you have any dumbbells available to you, let's go ahead and grab those now. Grab your towel, grab your water. Let's go ahead and get settled in, and then we will get rolling with our BeFit Live resistance base program workout. All right, team. Uh, leave us a note in the comment. Let us know where you're joining from. Let us know where you're watching from. Let us know where you're engaging from and having some fun at. Um, during this workout today, uh, drop us a note. Let us uh, mention us. Um, <clears throat> cheer us on. Cheer, yes, cheer Cam Bush and yeah. myself on. We're here. We always love the motivation, the encouragement, as well as the community that our BFit Nation brings to the table every Monday for our BFit Live program workouts. All right, team. Let's go through the four different movements that we have uh, geared up today, team. So again, resistance-based workout is what we have going on for today. Uh, with those dumbbells that you have available, we're thinking <clears throat> a little bit of lower body activation here with movement number one. We have a dumbbell sumo deadlift. Uh, so this is a lot, uh, this is a hip hinge movement. So really think about pushing those hips back and then driving up into that sumo deadlift. Movement number two, focusing on some upper body activation with a dumbbell hammer curl and an added shoulder press. Movement three, we're down on the floor with a T push-up, a T push-up, so some added rotation with some core stability. And movement number four, to finish us off, we have a dumbbell sit-up. Now the dumbbell is optional, the sit-up is not. So we are gonna perform the sit-up with either added weights or with not. The timing for today is gonna be 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four rounds with one minute rest in between each of those rounds. Again, team, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four rounds with one minute rest in between each of those rounds. Now, Captain Bush and myself are gonna demonstrate each of these four movements before we get started in diving into our workout. So, Captain Bush, yes, sir. let's do the honors here. Right. <clears throat> We're gonna have two dumbbells here, and Captain Bush is gonna show us how the sumo deadlift is gonna work. A few key points to keep in mind as you perform the sumo deadlift. So, with your two dumbbells here, our palms are gonna be facing the back of the room. From here, a nice soft bend at our knee, and with that sumo stance, they are wider than shoulder width apart, okay? From here, we're gonna hinge at those hips, so push those hips back. Our back is tracking nice and flat. Our head is gonna look down as we hinge down. Perfect, then we want that nice spinal alignment here. From here, we're gonna come up back to standing position. You're gonna feel that activation in your hamstrings, your glutes, and then a little bit of your quads as you perform each of these reps. Again, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, Perform this movement nice and slow, nice and controlled. Think about pushing back those hips just like you would be a car door. Nice and controlled, absolutely, there we go. All right, movement number two, back to standing position here. Feet shoulder width apart, we have that combination movement of a bicep curl. As you hinge those elbows up into that front rack position, palms are facing you. You're gonna come up into that overhead press, activating our shoulders, and then controlling that weight right back down into your front rack position, and then back to your starting position. All right, at that bottom of your position, you should be able to flex your triceps. That's gonna give you your full range of motion into your bicep curl. So tri flexing those triceps at the bottom is that full extension back to that front rack position. And then up into our overhead press. Again, nice controlled movement. Think about uh, engaging our glutes as well to help prevent or protect rather our lower back into that overhead press position that can go a long way into this movement, all right? 40 seconds of work once again. After that, we're gonna drop our weight down. We're gonna come down to the floor here with a T push-up and, added, and an added rotation. So a few key points into your high plank position of your push-up. Your hands are gonna stack directly underneath your shoulders. From here, a nice flat back. Hips are gonna be square to the floor and we'll push back a little bit more into our heels. That'll engage a little bit more of our lower body. So from here, we're into our push-up. 
coming right back up and then left hand or right hand comes up into that T rotation. Our gaze is gonna follow our fingertips and then we reset right back down to the floor. Again, thinking about pressing up, utilizing our chest and then three points of contact onto the floor is gonna really force us to stabilize to engage our core and then into that added T rotation, all right? That's gonna be movement number three. And last but not least, movement number four, we're gonna recline back on the floor here. Our heels or our soles of our feet are gonna be on the floor. From here, reclining back, our weights are gonna be up overhead. Step one, full extension here. Step two, we're gonna raise those weights to about eye or chin level. And then movement number three, we're gonna drive those weights up to the ceiling Head comes up through our arms, and then we slowly and controlly lower back down for that starting position. Again, nice recline back, coming up with our dumbbells, and then thrusting up. Again, a lot of core engagements. Head comes up nice and forward, looking through our weights, and then we're right back down into that starting position. Now, if we drop the weights here, we can feel free and drop those weights, and it would be that same motion into that sit-up minus the dumbbell if this is where we're at today team okay and we can also scale back a little bit more uh by by being nice and comfortable <laughs> we're doing good here <laughs> being nice and comfortable but scaling scaling back again without without added weight is actually where we're going to be at for this movement all right good job all right team that's going to be the three movement the four movements that we have available for you today again we're working on resistance training we're working on form we're working on control we're working on dialing in our weights without those uh with those additional uh movements all right so again if you have any questions any comments let's go ahead and leave that in the comment section below team we'll go ahead and get started uh again dialing in any weight that we may have available to us and then uh, we'll get ready to go. So starting off with some dynamic stretches here, team. All right, get our bodies nice and warmed up, prepared and ready to work. We're gonna take that right leg, we're gonna extend it back to our glutes here. We're gonna push those hips forward and then we're gonna raise that right arm or left arm up to the sky here, finding our balance, pushing again, pushing those hips forward, feeling that stretch in your right quad. Go ahead and set that leg right back down. Take that left leg back and we'll extend that right arm up and overhead. Again, working on shoulder mobility, a little bit of mid to upper back and hip flexor uh, stretch as we push those hips forward and raise that left arm. Good, again, each of these movements for about 30 seconds here, so take your time. You can go as fast or as slow as you may need for each of these dynamic stretches. Nice deep breath in, last one here, out in three, two, one, all right, team, let's go ahead and take that nice wide stance here, Kevin Bush. Yes, sir. All right. From here, we're going to shift our weight over to the left and to the right. We're thinking the inside of our thighs here with our lateral lunge, right back to center, and then to our left side here. Nothing too aggressive here. We're just going to shift our weight over to the left and to the right. Again, thinking about opening up our hips here. You can pause at the top. Feel that stretch on the inside of our thigh here. Some blood flow, some activation of our lower body here. Can go a long way especially with our sumo deadlift warming up our glutes our quads our hamstrings a few seconds here last three two one all right team we're gonna come to the top of our workout space here we're taking a nice little step forward because we're gonna take one leg and extend it back into our reverse lunge so watching our weight nice behind us here we'll take that right leg we'll drop it back down we'll take our right arm extend it up and overhead, feeling that stretch in our lats. Nice big stretch here. Coming back up to starting and standing position. Take that left leg. We'll extend it back down here. Drop that left leg down and reach it over. Good. All right, team. Again, these can be as fast or as slow as we may need. Good. Feeling, those, feeling that lower body warming up here. Monday's waking up to us. <laughs> It's also saying hello to us. Exactly. <laughs> Starting the weekend off. Yeah. Starting the week off nice and strong here. Yes, sir. All right. Again, taking advantage here of our warm ups. Last one here. Let's sit in this one. Last three, two, one, and time. Good job, team. All right. Just a few circles with our arms to warm us up on our shoulders, a little bit of chest. So we're going to take that right leg, right arm rather. <laughs> nice big circles here. 
to the front. And three, two, one, we'll switch backwards. Again, warming up our shoulders here. We have some overhead presses along with our T push up with an added rotation. Let's take that left arm. Nice big circles here. Good. And let's take this backwards. Good. Less than 10 here. Out in three, two, one. All right, team, take this time right now to really kind of freestyle any tight areas that you may have. Uh, kind of work this out as we get set up here with our timer. Again, if you have any questions, any comments, any modifications that you were thinking about uh, requiring or, or asking about, let us know in the comments below. Eddie from Birmingham, tuning in. Great to see you in here, Eddie. All right, let's have some fun today. Again, these workouts should be challenging, but they should also be fun, right? So have some fun with us today. Have some fun with movement, celebrating our active bodies by being able to move, right? We're here with you every step of the way, every rep of the way. Our timer is up. We are good to go. We're going to find two dumbbells here. <clears throat> we are up in 10 seconds here with our sumo deadlift. Up in five, four, three, two, one. All right, team, here we go. So 40 seconds on the clock. Palms are facing the back of the room. We're going to hinge at those hips. So we're pushing those hips back, feeling the activation in our hamstrings. Coming back up to standing position. A nice soft bend at our knees and bending at that bottom position can go a long way with activating our glutes, the outside of our glutes, <clears throat> and our hamstrings as we come back up to standing position. All right, 10 seconds here. All right, I want you to think about pushing those hips back, but also looking down at the floor as you track down in three seconds, two, one, all right, team. Drop that weight and find that weight that we can come into a bicep curl to overhead press because that's going to be movement number two. Ken Bush always we'll see how chooses, <laughs> chooses, to, chooses to work, which I love here. Two seconds here, open that bicep curl overhead press. Nice control movement here into your bicep curl, into our overhead press, controlling our weight right back down. Good. Again, nice strong position here. Our elbows are tucked in close to our torso here. Wrist stacked right over our elbows into that front rack position, into that neutral grip shoulder press. All right, don't forget to smile today. It is a great day to have a great day. 10 seconds here, yes sir. Up in five, out in five, <laughs> two, one, nice and controlled. Good job. Drop the weight here. We won't see it again for the second round. Uh, unless we choose that weight for <laughs> our double. All right, we're going to take a spot on the floor here. We've got our T push up with our added rotation. So we're going to take this light here. We're going to come up into that T push up here. From here, 40 seconds on the clock. We're down into our push up. Up, and then with our added rotation, nice control. Good. Here we go. Again, two for one here. We get our added push up, a lot of chest activation here. Then we get to challenge ourselves into a high plank with three points of contact on the floor. Good. Pushing through here, team. 10 seconds. I think now would be a great time to offer that modification. If you were looking for a modification to regress a little bit, let's drop to our knees. And that added rotation. Good job. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I'm telling you, that three points of contact really forcing you to stabilize. Yep. Trying to keep your hips square off of the toes here. All right. Moving number one. I'm sorry. Moving our four dumbbell sit up here. <clears throat> First round, we'll take that sit up. Up, overhead. Thread right through. 30 seconds on the clock, all right? Take your time with this movement. Good. 20 seconds here. Good job, team. As Kevin Bush works through, I'm gonna grab that one weight. 
<laughs> 10 seconds here. There we go. Good. Out in five. Last three, two, one, and time. Good job. Nice. How'd that feel? Oh, so good. <laughs> Definitely feeling the sweat going. All right. I'm about to start flowing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> this is what we like to say. First round, we learn the movements, right? You can learn how your body's feeling today. Learn where you're at today. Learn where you're at with our weights. Learn where we're at with our body and our movements. Round two, round three, round four, we progressively scale up. So if we can add a little bit more weight into your movement, if we can add a little bit of a tempo, that's what we're trying to try to achieve for this second round specifically. We'll stop at the second round, right? We'll dial in our movement, we'll dial in our weight. 18 more seconds of rest here and we'll jump into round two, all right? Again, if you have any questions, any comments, let's go ahead and drop them in the comments section below. Eight seconds here. All right, Jeffrey, good to see you in here. Jeffrey's enjoying our workout, so we are gonna push through yes, sir. round two. Jeffrey, 40 seconds on the clock. Let's go into our sumo deadlift here. Again, this movement's all about your lower body focus, right? <clears throat> the top of your position, roll those shoulders back, push that chest out, push those hips back, drop down, feel that activation in our hamstrings. Good. Nice soft bend and our knee goes a long way. Try not to lock out your knees. It's being a lot more comfortable on our joints. Five seconds here. Can we get in two reps? One and one for an extra measure. Good job. All right, team. Find that rest, find that weight. Looks like I'm gonna hold on to mine. Uh, we have a bicep curl at the shoulder press coming up. All right. Here we go, team. Five seconds. Upper body focused here. Remember to set yourself up with a nice solid foundation. Be shoulder width apart. Into that bicep curl, into that overhead press. Nice one. Good. Don't forget to breathe on these movements as well. Good job. 20 seconds here, team. There we go. Good, find our momentum. Minimize the sway into our bicep curl. Overhead press, good. Last five seconds team, let's finish it out. Two, one, last rep and time. Good job, nice work. Way to finish that out. All right, we're gonna find our space on the floor here with our push up. 10 seconds, goes a long way to note that we have that 40 seconds of work, 20 yeah. seconds of rest. 20 seconds of rest because of a long way. We're really feeling that added or limited amount of time. Here we go, 40 on the clock here. Push up into that rotation. Good. Good, just like our push-ups go, our palms should be at about chest level here at the bottom. Good. Think about that nice arrow formation with our push-up rather than a T formation from that aerial view. Again, shoulders, injury prevention here. And if we need to regress, let's drop to our knees here. Five seconds, good. Out in two, one, finish it out here. Good job, good work. Good job, there it is. Jeffrey, stay with us here. Let's finish it out here. Grabbing my one dumbbell. Five seconds. Captain Bush is gonna demonstrate two. All right, team, here we go, 40 on the clock. We're dropping down nice and controlled. Coming up, raising up. Try to bring our arms up through our arm, our head up through our arms here, rather. Good. 20 seconds, work through it, team. Nice and controlled. Good. Good work. Again, a little weight goes a long way. No weight goes a long way. We're here with dumbbells today. Let's keep pushing. Last two, last rep here, finish it out for us. You'll get that 60 seconds of rest. Good job. Nice and controlled. Good work. 
Good work, reset ourselves here. All right, team. Again, if you are just joining us, Stephen Ambassador Roy Montes here with Captain Bush on my side, pushing through today's resistance-based workout. All right, our exchange B-Fit 360 approach is just, it's a holistic approach to our everyday lifestyle to keep us moving in the right direction, to keep us moving forward. Forward is forward here, and we are taking steps to progress and build in our strength. All right, team. Again, resistance-based training. So uh, drop us a note. Let us know where you're joining from. Let us know where you're watching from. Again, this is our one workout programmed BFIT Live workout to really focus on ourselves, right? Starting us off nice and strong for this week. <laughs> Eight seconds here. We're going to find those dumbbells. All right, round three. We'll try to scale up here. Ken Bush has already scaled up one. <laughs> here we go. Sumo deadlift here. Nice control on the way down. Palms facing the back of the room. We are activating our hamstrings, our glutes at the top. Let it be known our grip is being challenged as well. All right, 20 seconds here. We're halfway there. Get nice and controlled. That very top of your position. Standing back up, chest is up nice and proud. 10 seconds here. Good. Last three. Two, last rep, finish it up. Good. Good job. Finding our two weights here, we have a hammer curl to an overhead press. Find our weights, find our space. We'll get ready here in two, one. Here we go, team. 40 on the clock. Good. Good, nice and control. All right, I know every week I say, really starts to warm up at that third lap. Oh yeah, <laughs> start to put a lactic <laughs> Push through team. Let's go BFIT Nation, last 10 seconds. Don't forget about our form, minimize the sway in our upper body. Last three, two, one. And time, good job. Back out of that one. <clears throat> All right, team, into that T push up here. So we're gonna get ready here on the floor. Again, with this round, be mindful of our hips. Try to keep them facing the floor. Here we go, team. 40 on the clock here. Good. Good job, team. Stay with us here. Uh, Captain Bush, yes, imagine if the T rotation was a part of an event. Oh, man. That'd be, that'd be <laughs> well, you, do, you do enough <laughs> push ups, all right? Exactly. <laughs> Just added. Added rotation. They yeah. added, but... The plank, right? Right. So think about your push up and your plank all together, oh, rolled okay. in one. Oh, here man. we go. <laughs> Two, one. And we're back up. <laughs> Good job, team. Good job. We're on the floor here. Again, this sit-up goes a long way without weight or to scale up with weight. Last two. We're back up, team. Let's work. Good. Controlling our weights on the way down. There we go, head comes up through our arms. Drive up, lead with our head coming up towards the ceiling. Nice deep breath in on the way down, exhale. There we go, as you come up, 10 seconds here team. Good, I'm in five. Drive up, two, one. And time. Nice. Good job. <laughs> Good work. Dude. Yeah, absolutely. So, and that's the idea whether it's isolated on our core or whether it's a movement to really drive up our heart rate. We have this extra 60 seconds to really dial in, yep. see how we feel, see where our breath is at, see 
how our bodies are responding to our workout with that 60 second of rest. And then we drive into our last and final round. Right, last and final round, that's where we're at today. Fourth round, fourth quarter. Last round's our best round. So take this 20 seconds here, find that hydration, drop us a note, share it with our friends, 15 seconds. All right, find our way, dial it in if we can have, uh, if we have room for some added weight. Let's go ahead and drive it in. We are up in a quick four. All right, here we go, team. Palm space in the back of the room. Good. Again, nice controlled movements for today's resistance base workout. Focusing on a full body activation. Full body resistance base. Under 20 minutes. You're almost there, team. Last and final round. Last 10 seconds. You won't see this movement again unless you extend your rounds. If you have more time for more work, extend the rounds. Last three, two, one, and time. Good job. Good work. All right. Again, biceps and shoulders. Core activation. Keep that core nice and tight as we press up. Set yourself up with a nice solid foundation in two, one. Here we go, team. Good. Again, focus on our breathing. Don't let our breathing get away from us here. Nice deep breath in on the way down. Good. Focus on our breathing cadence. 20 seconds here. Don't forget to smile, team. We're having a great time pushing through, building up that strength to really tackle today, this week, the next, out in four. Good job. Two, one, and time. Good job. Take that 20 seconds to recover. Good work, team. T push up coming up in 10 seconds. Good, again, 20 seconds of rest, 20 seconds to recover, really forcing us to elevate our heart rate here. We're up in two, one, here we go team. Nice deep push up. Again, if we were looking for that modification, we can come down to our knees as a regression. Good, tuck those elbows in as we come down and lower to our push up. Good, remember our eyes follow our fingertips on the way up. Almost there, team. Last 10. Keeping our core nice and tight. Hips square to the floor. There you go. Last three, two, last one here. And time. Good job. Good job, Captain Bush. Me too. Not an easy one. Oh, no, not at all. All right. Speaking of not easy. <laughs> Eight seconds. Last and final movement here. We're gonna face. Face sir. Perfect. All right, team. Here we go. Forty on the clock. Good. There we go. Nice and controlled. I like how Captain Bush is going with those two dumbbells. And again, if you're looking for some added movement here into your pressed up position, go ahead and rotate with one dumbbell to the right and or to the left, you can activate a little bit more of your obliques. Coming up with a nice soft rotation. There you go. Good. Last five seconds here. Out in three, two, one. Finish out this rep here with a smile. <laughs> Good job, team. Good job. As we come back up to standing position here. Good job, Ken Bush. Yes, sir. All right, B-Fit Nation. How are we doing? How are we feeling? Yeah? <laughs> All right, as you find your water, as you find your towel, Rama over here, great workout. Absolutely, absolutely. Jeffrey, again, that was rough. I hope you stayed with us, Jeffrey. Uh, if, again, B-Fit Live, B-Fit Nation, B-Fit Ambassador Ramon that's here. Join by Kevin Bush yes, sir. over on my right-hand side. Again, we pushed through a resistance-based workout now. 
all workouts serve a purpose. And with today's workout, we're really just focusing on building up specific targeted muscle groups right. and building on our strength week after week. I know last week we had some resistance-based uh, workout as well, so then this was a full different four set of movements that we were able to tackle just to target in and hone in on specific, on a totally different muscle groups. So, again, uh, how so you doing? How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. I'm yeah. feeling great. See, see the sweat flowing? <laughs> Got a little pool working over here. Some good stuff. I see that. I see that. Yeah, yeah. Again, a, a few big takeaways here. Hydration for one, right? Uh, I mean, sweating is, is an active part of, of our body, helping ourselves cool down. So right. if it's a hot environment, if you are outdoors, if you are in the gym facility, Make sure to stay hydrated. Absolutely. Right. Make sure to stay hydrated if we want to make sure we're at the peak of our performance and setting ourselves up for success yes. is that hydration base, right? We want to make sure that our bodies are capable of uh, putting them through a, a very rigorous training like today. Uh, what's great about today's workout is you can scale it back. So if you had uh, two dumbbells that you were working through, maybe it was a little too heavy for what you have on hand, drop down to one dumbbell and then continue with that movement. Each of these movements with our dumbbell activation can be accomplished with one dumbbell uh, if you need to scale back. Um, we can do that as well. Um, if you are looking for any additional equipment to really help you through staying active, to stay ready and to stay resilient, uh, whether uh, whatever it may be uh, during our active lifestyles, right? Uh, shop our exchange at shopmyexchange.com. Find those dumbbells. Find that added piece of equipment that can really take you uh, to the next step or to the next level or can really assist you into uh, focusing on uh, different movements that you may uh, be trying to achieve. Uh, shop our active wear, our lifestyle, our sporting goods, fitness trackers to really dial in your metrics on heart rates, on steps. Uh, that can be a great goal to accomplish throughout your day. All right, shop my exchange at your installation. Uh, go ahead and visit us in there. We have a great Be Fit department that can really uh, take you uh, into that step forward of your active health and wellness lifestyle. Team, uh, look outside into our exchange mall areas and you'll see our wellness services team. Uh, we have a lot of different options to choose from that really focuses on our wellness, right? Optical nutrition, uh, dental chiropractic care, optometry care, care, and that durable medical equipment to really kind of brace yourself for any type of movement uh, that you may find. Uh, shopmyexchange.com forward slash wellness can take you to your installation, drop down on that menu, find your installation, and search for uh, those wellness services that you, that you uh, may be searching for or that we offer um, at your installation. If you step outside of our Exchange Mall area and you look at our Exchange restaurants, more than 1,600 restaurants that offer better for you options. Surf through each of those restaurants, depending on uh, what you're looking for for that particular day, and uh, find those better for you options on our Exchange restaurants. Again, more than 1,600 restaurants that really help dial in our nutrition, just another uh, component, uh, if you will, of our BFIT 360 approach. Team, step outside of our exchange main stores and uh, look for our express stores, our convenience stores. Uh, if you step inside there and you surf through our aisles, you'll see healthier choice shelf tags, right? Right on the shelf that take the guesswork out of smart snacking options. All right, more than 400 products that offer a healthier choice. They can be low in sodium, low in cow, high in protein, uh, uh, different types of attributes uh, with that product can really help, again, take the guesswork out and uh, they've gone through our screening to really focus in on a healthier choice team. All right, they're looking for additional information. We've got you covered with the Exchange Hub. Uh, if you search uh, shopmyexchange.com forward slash BFIT, that'll take, me, take you directly to our BFIT 360 hub that focuses on fitness, nutrition, uh, wellness, and gear, okay? All of our BFIT live program workouts are cataloged there, as well as additional information on nutrition, on hydration, on a marathon, or even keys to BFIT, all right? You can find some additional keys to our BFIT program and to really help you and just uh, help you achieve that active uh, BFIT lifestyle team. Um, that's, that's pretty much everything that we've got covered here for today. Uh, let me turn back to Kevin Bush and say, uh, any, anything else that you'd like to add before we sign uh, off here? I, I wouldn't be in the Army if I didn't piggyback on the hydration piece. Absolutely. In, in the Army, at the, at the, at, in the formation, you know, first sergeant always comes up and tells all these guys, hey, make sure you hydrate. Hey, I mean, the same same thing to our, to our viewers as well, just like you mentioned, mm -hmm. I mean, out here in Dallas, it's, 104 degrees mm -hmm. has been the last mm -hmm. three weeks will be for the next uh, three weeks so mm -hmm. gotta stay hydrated so make sure you're doing that and then uh, mm -hmm. secondly yeah, um, just consistency um, just to, to our viewers 
everyone that's been that's been watching every weekly uh, greatly appreciate it. Uh, mm -hmm. But consistency consistency is key. You know, mm -hmm. when, when you when you lack motivation, the consistency that you that you put into something is what's going to mm -hmm. uh, spark that motivation again. So just let's maintain that consistency. Get after it every day. You know, have a regimen, uh, workout regimen every way, uh, every mm -hmm. day or every week. Have you you plan that out and mm -hmm. you know get to your goals. Right. And speaking of goals, right, set those goals, whether it is be that fine goal, right, yep. those smart goals, right, that smart, right. that measurable, that attainable, uh, those realistic uh, goals right. and the time goals, right? That could be your smart style of goal, but uh, small steps can really get you to that larger goal, that larger picture that you're trying to achieve. So uh, whether it's, uh, you know, something today, write down that goal, see it, visualize it, and then work towards achieving that goal, Absolutely. Uh, just like you're mentioning, and that can really help get you to that larger goal that you're trying to achieve. So break it down into that smaller uh, bite-sized piece, if you will. That's it. Ah. And uh, additionally, uh, you're speaking on, on consistency. Yeah. Share this workout, right? Keep each other accountable. Kevin Bush keeps me accountable <laughs> by picking uh, the heaviest weight, and I need to uh, measure up to Kevin Bush. <laughs> I need to help, I need to hold my weight here. So I appreciate you pushing me, yes, but in that same respect, uh, in that same token, uh, share this. Uh, keep yep. each other accountable, Beef Nation. Help share this workout with your friends, your family, your spouses, your coworkers. Uh, help keep each other accountable. We are one team, right? Yes, we are one team trying to fight, trying to stay active, and, and, yes, and we will, right? Get to that finish line, get to that end line, get to that goal line together as one team. So uh, again, great work, Beef Nation. Uh, great job today. Way to hustle through, way to focus on our form, on our control. And um, we will see you again uh, next Monday at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. We will be here every step of the way, every step of the way. And I believe it is a hybrid or cardio-based workout. So again, a whole different approach. Uh, each workout has its own um, approach to it, and, and it's geared to either keep your heart rate elevated or focus on that form and strength or a little bit of both. So uh, we have a great workout available for you next Monday at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, we will see you back here with our BFIT Nation crew, with our ambassadors here, Roy Montes here, Cam Bush. <laughs> Great job today. Hey, appreciate it. All right, we're signing off here. We'll see you, team.